Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Welcome to Tennessee. Yes, yeah, Sophie and I are in the uh, Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Actually, it's, 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 it's been fun. We like it. This is a gr beautiful country. Beautiful country. A good trip, but holy crap, does Sophie have the munchies. I tell you what, we had a park on the side of the road here. I think McDonald's is like right over yonder over here. She had to go get like three double bacon cheeseburgers, you know, some nuggets and whatever. And then go into Walgreens here and get some like Cheetos and a can of Hormel chili, some sardines and some Vienna sausages. It was, I, I, you know, I found it funny when we left um, Rustic Acres. I said, come on, honey, let's get in. And she wanted to drive in the back with all the hemp seed that we're bringing uh, Jockey and Mrs. Jockey. That's the whole point of our trip is to bring in some hemp seed, hemp seed for the greenhouses from our hemp harvest. And she got in the back and said, Sophie, it's okay. It's going to be all tied down. But no, she insisted. So I thought that was kind of strange, but now it all makes kind of common sense. It all it all makes sense. But anyways, yeah, like I said, we are here in Tennessee. Go Kart Jockey called me and said, Mrs. Jockey needs some hemp seed. I said, hey, man, I can do that. So we hopped in the old Jack Daniels Freightliner here, loaded up some hemp seed, and going to bring them to Mrs. Jockey for her greenhouse business. So that'll be kind of fun. The, the girls can hang out. Golf cart jockey and I can uh, sit back and have a couple of bourbons and chat about the old days. And hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, crap. Can't say that. Can't say that. I tell you what. It's nice to see women without big foreheads. It really is. It's um, it's it's soothing. It really is soothing. And it's a lot less um, like out there. Holy crap, like out there. Like you could tattoo your uh, logo on their forehead. But anyways, so life is good. Life is good. We're going to head to the jockey's place. I think we got to go up this hill and up to the farm there. And we'll get it delivered. But we're going to spend a couple days here as soon as Sophie gets over here from uh, all the fancy shopping she's doing with all that food. Holy crap. And, uh, yeah, so, it, you know, we're kind of late into the summer now. And we have got some stuff um, ready for harvest back at Rustic Acres. John just texted me and said, man, are you coming back? I said, well, we'll be back a couple days. You know, it can hold off. The tobacco can hold off. But we got a lot going on in Rustic Acres. We got to get that harvest done. We got to get our debt paid off. We have got to become uh, self sufficient, I should say. But I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am looking forward to it. We have a lot more uh, hops from our hops garden that can be uh, sold. And we have some bacon. We got some bacon, man. Some good old bacon down from the uh, Jambone factory. So we get that done, but let's get out of here. Um, oh, red truck coming. Got away. Hey, how you doing? Sophie, I didn't say anything. Never mind. I'm mumbling under my breath. You just go back to your uh, your sardines and your Vienna sausage and your Hormel chili and your nuggets and your burger for crying out loud, woman. That's a lot of food. Are you going to be okay, Sophie? God, don't get sick. If you do, roll down the window. But it's all good, my friends. It is all good. I'll tell you what. It's been good get, getting back to farming. Between, holy crap, Sophie and I back at the rest of the years, we got sick. And then I got an eye infection, man. Couldn't see out of my one eye. Oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. It is good to be back. It is, you know, I'm the best damn driver there is in Farming Simulator. I tell you, and ATS. I tell you, and ATS. It's awesome. But right up the hill, around this corner, we should get to the jockey place, the jockey farm. I, I know, You know what? I uh, I know why they settled here. This is this is absolutely gorgeous country. Absolutely gorgeous country. I got, I got to go to Tennessee more often. Sophie and I, well, you know what? Actually, we, you know, Sophie, this is kind, this got to be pretty close to our cabin. Isn't it? We we'll have to look on the map. I think it's got to be pretty close to our cabin farm that we had. Let's see. Uh, I think we'll pull into the jockey place here. This must be it. Let's make a nice wide turn there. And uh, we'll pull in here and uh, drop off the hemp seed. And we'll have a good time and uh, life will be good. What the? Jockey, your fence got in my way. What kind of a guy puts a fence right there when you're trying to bring in a 53-foot trailer full of hemp seed? Jockey! Get over here, buddy. You gotta bring your tractor. I'm gonna get my chainsaw. I'm gonna cut this stupid fence down. This is stupid. What kind of a guy does that? I tell you what, that's enough. Uh, probably a guy who drinks a lot of bourbon. I don't know. Man, that's just terrible. Look out! Look out, cars! Beep beep, beep beep. I mean, what kind of an entrance to a farm is this? You gotta bring farm machinery, trucks, and trailers, and all kinds of stuff going on. We're gonna make it. No, we're still stuck. Oh crap. Oh, just a little bit. I just cut that post off. Let's see, I'll cut this post off in a little bit here, and, and it'll be good. But anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll get the hemp seed delivered, and then we'll spend a couple days, have a good time. They like to play cards. I mean, I'm not a big card kind of guy. You know, they want to play, like, whist. Whisk? Is it whist or whist? I think it's whist. You know, what's that one game with the pegs? Yeah, I don't know. Sophie's not big into that, but uh, Sophie's got her hemp, and I've got, I've got a lot of cold beverage and some bourbon. But we'll be okay. So we'll get this done, we'll get this delivered, we'll say hi to them, and then we will get back to Rustic Acres for some wacky tobacco harvesting and uh, 
See how it goes. See ya. Welcome back to Rustic Acres. Sophie and I had a great time up at the jockey's place. We got back uh, late last night. Got up this morning. We have the truck full of um, hops from our hops garden. And uh, John is with me in the uh, truck with the trailer. And he picked up some fine and outstanding bacon. Holy buckets. Look at that. Four nice big pallets of bacon. That is awesome. So... The Jabon factory is going to continue producing. We have some pigs in there. We got plenty of salt. But we thought we'd make a little extra money because all we have is $6,129 in the bank. Holy crap. We are um, not doing so well. But all this stuff, the uh, hops and the bacon, are going up to a delivery to the ranch. They need it for a big shindig going on there. So John and I are going to head up to the ranch. We'll get this sold, and we'll see if we can make some money into the uh, coffers. Because if I'm not mistaken... I think, um, let's just quick look here quick before John runs in the back of me. Yeah, we still owe 740000 in our debt. Yeah, John, stay, keep your distance, John. I know that bacon is tempting, but come on, John. Let's go to the program here, buddy. So, we got to make some money. Plus, on top of that, oh, crap, I'm going to stop again, and John's going to hit me again. I want to look at this because growth-wise, here on this fantastic day, we have got a bunch of tobacco. And we have our hops here to sell. And our, do we have rye or oats? Yeah, we have, uh, crap, no, barley. Did we put barley in there? Oh, yeah, we did. No, barley? Why do we, yeah, we planted barley. Oh, yeah, planted barley for the, uh, the distillery, I think, right? Right? Yeah, so we have got some fields to get harvested. We're going to get on that right away. Um, we did purchase, why we're so down so much, we did purchase a uh, row crop header because we have the hops and the tobacco to uh, harvest with that, so we needed that. So that's been delivered up to the farm. So I think that's kind of where we stand at the moment. We're just going to get busy. It is the uh, fourth day of summer here in the midsummer. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of happy that we have some stuff to uh, produce uh, or to harvest and some yeah some crops to harvest. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, spit it out, man, spit it out, and make some money and get this debt paid off because before you know it, the summer is going to be over, the year will be over, and I you know I don't know what to do next. I'm kind of in a conundrum here. Be John, easy, buddy. Easy, my goodness! You drive like that jockey guy. I tell you what, we were up there. I, yeah, I think when I, I'm around him, I drive like a man. I hit every single fence post, every single tree. I was hitting a rock. Yeah, terrible. I, you know what? And I, he does it a lot. He, he he does that a lot. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's see. Now the ranch is way up here. Um, yeah, the ranch is way up there. So we'll kind of uh, let's see. We can turn here. We can just kind of make a zigzag zigzag tour way up to the ranch i probably should have turned out uh, oh, we'll turn here come on john let's turn here buddy turn here we'll head up that way to the ranch we'll sell the uh, hops and the bacon we'll see what kind of a price we get for them i'm kind of excited to, to see and uh, kind of go from there and then we'll get that combine fired up and we got to get some some tobacco harvested and that's going to go to um sophie this and that because she's got a big uh, contract uh, to fulfill so that'll be pretty good now where in the heck am i going oh yeah Let's go, um, come on, John. Let's go right, buddy. Let's go right. I tell you what, navigating this big rig on these uh, narrow gravel roads is a challenge. But I am up for it because I am the best driver. I tell you what, I am an awesome driver. I am an awesome driver. But we'll get a little closer. I'll see you after we'll get this sold. And then we'll get that combine uh, fired up. Coming up to the ranch, Johnny boy is still behind me. I think he's still behind me. Johnny, he's still, yeah, he's still back there. He's still back there. Awesome. So, head to the ranch. We'll deliver our uh, products and fulfill that contract. And then we'll get back and get the combine fired up. And holy crap. I tell you what, it is um, It's awesome. It is awesome to be around here. It's good to be back. Had a good little... Um, oh, crap. i got to keep driving. That's probably one of the rules to, uh, to do. i got to keep driving. Got to keep driving. Just keep driving. Just keep going. And, yeah, so tobacco... We can't plant cotton because cotton is going to follow all the tobacco fields. We can't plant that yet because we're just not quite into that planting cycle. But here's what I'm thinking. It's been a good two years here on uh, Rustic Acres. we got to get to the summer and into the fall and get all our crops harvested. And, you know, Sophie and I have this kind of a, a thing. 
we have this thing. Is this the ranch here? Um, I'm trying to think. Is this the ranch? Yeah, this is the ranch right here. Okay, we're we'll pulling it here. Now, I bet I'm going to have the same kind of problem uh, unloading this stuff as I did before. But anyway, Sophie and I were thinking that, um, yeah, John, just hold on there, buddy. That, uh, you know, we don't like to just leave. We, we like to leave our employees with everything. That's kind of our goal. We give it to them. John, calm down, buddy. It's okay, my friend. So, let's see. Let's uh, do that. We want to go here and here. Let's see. No, you're not doing it here. Yeah, I'm going to put these right here. I'm going to have the same kind of a problem that I had last time. If they, all, if they kind of sell or not. Um, 40, holy crap, 48,000 bucks for that. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's, it's just, it's kind of a crappy thing, to be honest with you. But the money's going up. That's a good thing. Hops, hops are worth something. Hops are, um, hops are worth something. But I'm kind of curious to see what bacon is worth. You know what? I'm going to hop in here. John, let me, let me get in here for a second, John. Okay, I think this is going to be easier. Um, that trailer has a little bit of difficulty. So let's see if we can sell anything here. Um... Oh, crap, you're doing something. You're doing something. Holy, look at that bacon just go. The bacon. Holy shnikes. 83,000 bucks. So I had like 6,000 bucks in the bank. Now up to 161. There's good money in that. We got a little bit of problem with these hops. Come on, hops. You got to sell. But uh, that's not too shabby. Bacon and uh, hops is some good money there. So that worked out pretty good. We have a little bit of money in the bank. We can get our harvest started. And we'll kind of go from there. But I got to finish these two pallets here. And then we'll get, uh, John and I will get back to the farm. And let's get that uh, combine fired up. John and I got back. Let's get that map out of there. We don't need that on there. Got it back. Got everything sold. $166,000 in the bank. So we're sitting pretty good there. Now, a quick check of the animals. How do we stand? Let's see. I've been taking care of them um, before we left. And John and Albert and uh, David have been doing a pretty good job here. Let's see. Cows. Yeah, everything seems to be all oh, the chickens. Chickens could use a little wheat or barley. Horses, not too shabby. I think we have one more day on that, and we'll get that taken care of. But let's get that combine fired up. Now, oh, the other thing I was going to check here, too, is because of the planting calendar, because cotton fowls are tobacco, right? So, yeah, so we have to wait until the first and second day of autumn to get that uh, cotton. Oh, wait, no, cotton planting. Let's see. Oh, crap. No, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's see. Cotton there. Oh, crap. Today's the last day that we can get that uh, cotton planted. Holy crap, we're going to have a busy day. Today be the last day because cotton in our rotation doesn't cotton follow tobacco. Oh, crap. We, oh, man. We got to be harvesting and planting at the same time to get that. Oh, man. I was thinking I was looking at the wrong thing last time I checked. But it doesn't matter anyways because we couldn't plant the cotton until the tobacco was in the ground or uh, harvested. So, yeah, we got a lot going on. So... Pack the map. Sorry about that. We got to get... We have these five fields. They're all tobacco, right? Yeah, those five fields are all uh, tobacco. They're not big fields. It's not going to take us long. So I get the combine fired up. We get them harvested, and then we can get the uh, cotton planted in the ground. So it's going to be a busy day here on the farm. The other thing we did, I don't know. If, yeah, I think I did. We did buy... We ended up buying a conveyor system for our manure here. For the uh, hops garden up there on the hill, so we're kind of we're kind of happy with that. We are happy with that. Animals are good. Now we do have the one pig barn. We've had a lot of bursts the last couple of uh, times here, so that thing is actually kind of um, full. So if we need to, we could sell some pigs, or we could bring some pigs up to the uh, Jabon factory and get that taken care. Of. But let's fire up the new Holland TX30. Okay, let's try that again. Let's fire up the new Holland. I hate that thing. I, I really do. It comes in handy, but for the most part, I absolutely I, I don't like it. I, I really don't because get, it gets confusing. We got the old new Holland fired up. Now, the corn header should be up by the uh, the big Quonset up here, and we'll get that hooked up. We'll get the uh, tobacco harvest underway. So I'll probably get this thing fired up. Sophie, she's all excited. She wants to try to combine some tobacco, which I don't actually think you combine tobacco, do you? No, you actually don't combine tobacco. And um, she wants to give it a shot. Then I can get the uh, cedar planter hooked up, and we can get fired off with some um, planting of that cotton in the ground right away. Now, I will have to double-check to make sure that we don't have to do any liming or fertilizing because that would really that would really set us back, too, if we had to do... Oh, crap, what are you doing, New Holland? Man, come on, get with the program here, buddy. Get with the program. Start driving like a normal person. 
Uh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to go uh, combine some of this and see what uh, we... Oh, I just ran into my Quonset. I just dented the, uh, the header on the Quonset. We'll drop that down. We'll unhook that. We'll hook up to the uh, nice little fancy real crop header we got. It's not very big, it's, it's, but this combine is not very big. So it's all going to work good. We don't have, you know, we don't have huge, huge tobacco fields. They're kind of small, so we can make do what we got. And our hops field is also ready to go. But I wanted to get, you know, get first things first. Right, there you go. That looks pretty nice. I want to get the uh, tobacco harvested so we can get the uh, cotton in the ground. We got to get that in the ground before we uh, before today ends because today's the last day. I wasn't, man, I wasn't thinking that we were pushing this thing this close. That was my fault. I'm a terrible farmer. What can I say? Anyways, Prius drivers, got to watch out for them. Oh, crap. There, hang on. There. What are you guys all doing? Coming back from, no. Today's, um, what is today? Today is um, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday afternoon mass? I don't know. Maybe. You never know if these people are around here. Let's see. Let's just start with this field here. Let's see how it goes. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of a yield we get. That's that's what I'm curious most about. Oh, crap. Look out, car. What I am most curious about, like I said, these are not huge fields. It's not going to take us, like, um, forever. And we got enough people here helping us out that we can get this all under control. But let's get this tobacco harvested, and we'll get that delivered to Sophie, this and that. And I'm hoping that this tobacco harvest and uh, hops harvest is going to help pay off our debt because, like I said, when Sophie and I leave a farm, we like to give it to the employees. We like, we, you know, we, we keep minor ownership, you know. We don't really uh, take too much control. It's all to the, holy crap, look at that tobacco. Just go feed right through that combine, right through the feeder hose and into the hopper. That is awesome. Look at that go. Oh, we are... Uh, we are combining some tobacco, my friends. It's actually going pretty good, my friends. Uh, 22% on a pass. Well, 25%, 26% on a pass. One round there and back. That's not too bad. So um, we should be sitting pretty good. Four rounds. We'll have a uh, full hopper. Uh, uh, right now we are at... Uh, 55 bushels in here we have um right now we're doing 194.1 bushels per acre that's not shabby that's not too shabby some good tobacco now i didn't realize yeah we bought these fields so and we didn't do much to them so they after this they are going to need liming and plowing so we'll get the uh, big new holland hooked up with the plow we'll get the uh, lime spreader going and we'll have to put lime down and then plow these real quick so basically, what we're gonna have is once the combine's done, or actually doesn't. Uh, we'll wait for the combine to be done because the uh, spreader has a wide width. And once that is done, then we can get three tractors in here. We'll have the no two, yeah two, because we'll have the uh, the lime spreader and the plow. No three and the cedar. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we'll have like three tractors in this field, up and running. But um, Sophie's getting over. She's packing her lunch. She's gonna come over and do some. Uh, some uh, tobacco harvesting for us, but this is this is going pretty good. I, I'm uh, I'm excited about this. Now, what is the price of tobacco? Um, we have to get a Sophie's this and that because we got to fulfill her contract. But what is the um, market for tobacco? Come on, go all the way over to tobacco. So there's tobacco. So um, hey, look at that. Sophie is pretty competitive. Forty three dollars and forty six cents a bushel. So that's not too bad. We, we can make some money off this tobacco, hopefully, and we'll get our debts paid off. 166 And like I said, we have a debt of 740000 Oh, my God. But, yeah, so we'll get all that taken care of. we we got a lot of harvesting to do. we got a lot of field work to do. Um, and apparently I just missed some here. Uh, we don't want to leave any. Don't leave any tobacco behind. Oh, heavens no. Do not leave tobacco behind. And we'll get this kind of up and running here. But I'll take oh crap, what are, you, what are you doing there, combine operator guy? Man, that's terrible. All right, Sophie, come on, get over here, dear. Uh, she's a much better tobacco harvester than I am. I, I'm not very good. I'm not very good. Now, the other thing we got to keep in mind, too, is when it comes time to um, harvest cotton, because we did sell that little cotton mechanism thing that we had, I really, really, really want to buy a John Deere cotton harvester. I do, because we are going to have cotton. Let's see, let's go back here. We're going to have cotton, um, let's see, cotton's white. So right now, one and two is growing, 44 is growing, and, oh, that's it? 
What do we plant? Oh, that's corn over there. So we have these three fields that are growing right now. And then, of course, we'll have these three down here. So we have a pretty big cotton harvest. I know they're not huge fields, but um, to make the investment, how much is one of those puppies, by the way? Uh, I bet you they're expensive. I bet you they are just astronomically priced. Where's cotton? There it is. Oh, what? 847000 for a John Deere cotton harvester? When you can buy the case one for forty five? Well, you always pay more for better machinery. I understand that. Better color, too, but holy crap that is absolutely unreal i i now i don't see how i don't see how that's ever gonna happen i really don't i mean how am i gonna pay out eight hundred and forty seven thousand for a cotton harvester and if sophie and i um leave this to our employees you know the whole point is to leave debt free and to have a little money in the bank for the next adventure but holy crap that is um that's something else What you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding Things are cruising right along. Sophie is doing some more tobacco harvesting. I had Albert bring down the um, tractor with the, the new all-in tractor with the uh, spreader, and he was able to make one pass and get started on there. I'm gonna head up and get the uh, new Holland fired up with the big plow on there. We'll bring that down here. Get everything kind of set up, get everything ready to go, and we should be uh, good to go in that department. I, I tell you, we should be um, sitting pretty good. Tobacco harvest commences here on Rustic Acres. Like I said, we got to kind of keep doing this. I mean, it is already 1234. We're not even going to have time to stop for a bacon sandwich for crying out loud. This is, um, it's uncalled for. It's absolutely uncalled for, but I'm kind of looking forward to getting the big fight, new haul and fired up. I like this tractor. Oh, crap, I ran into the poles. I like this a lot. Big new haul in 9082. It's, um, it could use a few things, but uh, for the most part, yeah, leave something to be desired here. But for the most part, it's not a bad tractor. And uh, quite affordable tractor as well. We don't need to have all that expense. But that's what I'm saying. That 847,000 smackers for that big honking uh, John Deere harvester. But I, I want one. I, I do. I just don't see how it's possible. I, I really don't. Because my intention was to have enough money to buy that. And one of those fancy uh, cotton round bill. Oh, watch over the tree. Cotton round bill um, trailers. Wouldn't that be the cat's meow? Oh, crap. Red Prius butthole. Oh my god, look out. Look out. An, a white one. Holy crap, they're all over the place. Yeah, they are all over the place. We'll unfold this thing here. Um, like I said, I think we should be able to handle this. I think we should be able to. Um, if I get to get the. Yeah, Sophie, keep calm, button, honey. You do an awesome job. Uh, get this thing uh, fired up. I'm going to do one pass with this plow. Make sure everything's working pretty good. Oh yeah, that's working nice. That's a good looking plow. That is a good looking plow. Holy crap, we have a, two tractors, a combine and a semi so far. And now we'll have one more tractor with the uh, planter hooked up to get the cotton in the ground. So I'm kind of liking this. This would be a good setup. John, David, um, hey, you know what? I think let's actually even put uh, Richard to work. Let's put Richard to work. We'll get him back here. He can do some work. And uh, Albert, myself, and Sophie, yeah, we'll be a busy crew today. A busy, busy crew. So. I gotta stop there until um, Elbert comes back and he can do some more lime spray. But I'm saying we gotta get this field uh, finished up here before we can uh, continue on to the next one. So we got that one over there, that one over there. Yeah, see, where am I now? Um, oh yeah, I'm sitting here. We got the one over there. So we got four to go here. We got four to go and get them uh, turned over. And they all need lime, they all need plowing. Crap. 
like when you try to be efficient, you just can't. So let's go back now. <laughs> Crap, another tractor and another... Uh... Good job, Sophie. Good job, honey. I tell you what. If you ever want to find a good woman, find a good one with a good forehead. That's all there is to it. That's all you got to do. And go from there. Because you don't want to end up divorced. No, you don't, want, you don't want to do that. I tell you what, when I was in witness protection there, holy buckets. That was... Um, that was a scary proposition, and I'm sure I'm glad that uh, Sophie and I made it out of there. Yeah, definitely so. But, let's see, hop car. I'm, you know what? Right now, I'm not even going to work with the hops garden. I don't know if there's water and manure in there. I've been taking a lot of manure. I think there is. Yeah, so it's still going. So we still have that. The bomb shul down there is still producing those tree saplings, but I don't know what to do with them. Because otherwise, I just got to keep uh, planting more trees. And I, you know, we planted a bunch of trees back there by Sophie's this and that. And I don't really want to... I don't know. I don't want to do that, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the bacon. The bacon is a good thing. Let's see now. Which one should we put on the... Uh, we have the 7840, and then we have the um, the 140. I, I keep forgetting. Which one... Oops, wrong button. Which one is more horsepower if I go back to the trackers? Um, the 7840 is 100 horsepower. The 144, 144. Yeah, I want the 144. Because we, I'll go back there. Because we need to use the, um, well, the drill, the grain drill, the grain drill. No, the grain drill does not plant. We got to use the Massey. Use the Massey. So we need, we need the bigger tractor. Okay, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, this puppy fired up. I, I love this tractor, the TM140. I absolutely love this tractor. And we'll get that hooked up to the Massey uh, planter. And uh, good footwork. There. You see that footwork? I tell you what, I'm, I am one heck of a footwork tractor guy. And we'll get that massy hooked up. We'll get it full of seed and fertilizer. And we can get some cotton on the ground this last day that that is possible. God, it's a good thing I looked. It's a good thing I looked because I was, I don't know, I, I, I got to find myself a good agronomist. I got to find myself a good agronomist because I, I you know, I, I, I make mistakes like that. And that, mis that mistake could have been very costly. I mean, that could have bankrupt the farm for crying out loud, putting that cotton in way too late. Oh, I got to move the sprayer. I got to move the sprayer. I tell you one thing. When we do leave here, when Sophie and I do leave here, we are going to leave this this farm uh, set up for a lot of good people. John, Raymond. Yeah, we have Raymond here, don't we? Yeah, we have, we have a Raymond here. And uh, Richard. They, they're all going to be uh, set up pretty good. Okay, I don't want to... Let's see, where are we going to park the sprayer? And I love the sprayer, and I haven't been able... Oh, crap, I hit the fence post. And I... Yeah, yeah, old-timer Dave, that's 375 now, in case you're wondering. Um, let's see, let's get this thing hooked up here. Oh, man. Busy. Busy. I, I wonder if that combine is... Sophie, are you full yet? I get on the radio and ask her. Let's get hooked up to the Massey here. Oh, there we go. Oh crap! Look at that. We're already we're already for cotton. Oh yeah, I forgot because we planted some cotton before that, didn't we? Oh yeah, we're already for cotton. So this thing is all set up to go for cotton. It's got seed, and got fertilizer. I, things are looking up. Things are looking up. We're uh, making progress here. We are making progress. Four fields to go, and the hops. You know, I'm not too worried about the hops right now. We can. Uh, I want to get all this tobacco done first, and then we can worry about the hops. So we're probably going to be. Well, uh, hops tomorrow or the next week or the week after that, we should be good to go. Oh, Sophie's still combining. Perfect. Sophie is still combining. Absolutely awesome. So I feel like I could fire this up and get this thing uh, started here. Oh, crap. Don't hit the little um, hill there. This is, a good, this is a good tractor. This is a dandy of a tractor. I love this tractor. One of my favorite tractors. One of my favorite. Okay. So, we'll get lined up here. I'm going to get this thing fired up. And then we're going to get everybody in their position. And we're just going to rock and roll. We're going to hit it hard. And, uh, let's see, am I over far enough? No, I probably should be over. Let's go over one more, um, one more furrow. So, I want this one here, right? Yeah, I want this one here. We'll go right on this line here. That should be good. Oh, yeah, perfect. Is that going to work out pretty good? Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, fire that up. Turn that puppy on. Set her down. And we're getting cotton in the ground, hopefully. She has a pretty good planting speed on this puppy. Are we getting things in the ground? Oh, yeah, look at that. 
Awesome. Hey, good job, Sophie. Good job. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting that. Uh, we are getting something done. We are. I can't believe the uh, working speed on this Massey Ferguson planner. That is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's see, where should we go next? Should we go straight ahead? Yeah, let's we'll probably just go straight ahead, and we'll go to that one next. So then, once we get this car harvested, we can uh, just everybody can just go to town. Everybody can just go to town. Everybody is set up. We have the uh, fertilizer spreader for Albert, and uh, let's see. I'll probably probably put uh, I'll probably put uh, Richard in that tractor. Uh, I'll do some planning. Sophie's doing some combining. Oh, we have somebody for a truck too. Oh yeah, we do have. Let's see, Albert. Yeah, we do have enough. We do have enough. David here too. So we'll get that going on. We'll get this field done. Get on to the next one, and um, we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's like organized chaos here. Sophie is still um, combining the hemp. We moved on to the second field. We were over here. I was spreading the lime. I got that parked here. And um, John decided to jump into the uh, planter, so he's doing some planting. And uh, Albert is actually doing some plowing in the uh, fancy New Holland. So we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good, my friends. Life is... Um, Life is busy here on the farm, but we're gonna we're gonna get things done. And it's three fifty. Holy crap! No, what the uh, one fifty? Almost two o'clock. I can't even read a clock. Uh, almost two o'clock. So we're doing we're not doing too bad. So that one should be done here shortly, and we are continuing on with this one. Now we have we got a ways to go to fill up the semi trailer. Uh, but once we get that filled up, we'll take that over here to Sophie's this and that, and we'll see um, what the market is gonna pay us for that. But we're on to this field. So we still have um, two more to go after this. We have the big one and then a long, long, narrow one. So we're doing okay. We have that one and then the other one over there by the uh, bomb shul. But look at that. I tell you what, that seeing that beast driving down the road. Oh, man, Albert, good job. Good job, buddy. And John doing some fancy planting. Things are working out. Things are working out. So, we're just kind of hanging out here. All we can do is hang out here, and I'm going to watch the lime spreader, and I'm going to watch the truck. And when Sophie... Oh, I probably I should go, probably go fill her up now. Let's just jump into the Peterbilt here. Yeah, see, so only 27%. This is two hopper loads of um, tobacco into our Peterbilt um, with Travis trailer here. So, we'll unload Sophie again here and get that uh, fine and outstanding tobacco into the uh, truck and uh, see how it go. I don't know. Yeah, she's probably not even full yet. I, the yield over here is not as good as the uh, first field for some reason because she came over here with the, uh, well, maybe not. 20, was it 25% of four rounds? Stop, Sophie. Just hang on here for a second. We'll unload the hopper here, honey. But, um, ah, man, so far, so that's a beautiful sight. That is a beautiful sight. All these tractors out and about getting things done is a beautiful sight. It, it really is. And cotton is being put into the ground. Yep, it doesn't get any better. It does not get any better. 36% full. So 36% full off of three hopper loads. I would I would have liked to have seen a little better uh, yield than that. But you know what? Maybe it's one of those things. Hey, look out there, Prius. Maybe it's one of those things where um, the yield is not so good, but the uh, the price, the price is like like soybeans. You know, you always get a lower yield for soybeans. But the uh, price makes up for that. So, so Sophie could go for a while. We'll get things done. And I'll check probably back with you uh, when we get this field done on to the third one. And uh, we'll see how we're doing.
are making some progress, my fun and friends. Hey, how the heck are you today? I hope you're doing well. I am doing a little bit of planting down here. I took over, so the boys should go get something to eat. Sophie is continuing the, um, whoa, stop there, tractor. The cotton harvester. I'm a little disappointed. We, whoa, whoa, tractor, stop. Stop. What is, my <laughs> My tractor won't just going backwards by itself. Oh crap! Now it's going this way. Okay. Well, we're just gonna drive. We'll pull, we'll pull around here. We'll back up, and uh, we'll get lined up again. I, I would have just made a turn. I would have well, made a turn, but uh, you know what? New Holland likes to do his guy do. Yeah, drive halfway down the field, and then let's um, let's back up. Okay. Kind of get get the uh, right lane there. There you go. Not doing too bad. Not doing. I tell you what, crazy. Crazy. Sometimes, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I put my handprint all over the all over the uh, tractor. That's not good. I, I I braced myself and I and I leaned over and hit my hand there. But anyways, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting the um, cotton in the ground. Our second field. Sophie is working on the third field. The bad news is, like I was saying, is the problem is the truck only like 54% full after two fields and whatever's over there done. So I'm a little disappointed um, in that in that aspect of it, but uh, otherwise we're, we're we're doing pretty good. As the oh crap Prius, as the uh, cotton harvest continues on the third field, field 34. Sophie is working hard. We did get the second field all taken care of. Yeah, we did. So that is planted. What I did is I called down to the dealership. I talked to my good buddy Zeke. He said, I have an old New Holland, an old New Holland uh, TC57 Hydro Plus with a header. And I said, I, I want to rent it. I mean, like 5200 bucks. So I figured while well, we're just kind of waiting around because that third field's a big one, and that's taking a little bit of time. And I, I'm not happy with the yield. I was hoping for a better tobacco yield. But Sophie over there is continuing that, so everybody's just kind of waiting for her to get far enough ahead so they can start, and then we'll start that field. And the truck is over there, you know, not even three-fourths full yet. So when Zeke said, I have this thing for you, I said, hey, give it, give me, give it to me. I'll, I'll lease it, give you a shot. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to start doing some of the uh, barley harvest to take up to the distillery because I think that'll be a... Uh, is that where the barley... God, I can't even remember where the barley goes. I think that's where the barley goes, isn't it? Uh, no, the corn goes... The corn goes to the distillery. The, bar, the barley goes to the mill. Yeah, that's what it is. The corn goes to the distillery, the Jack Daniels, and the barley is going to the uh, mill. That's exactly what it is. So I had Raymond bring down the triac... Am I going the right freaking way? Yeah, I am. I had him bring down the uh, triaxle down to this field. We are going down to 16 and no 12 and uh, 13 down here, where our two barley fields are. And I'm going to start this barley harvest, and we're going to give this a shot and get some of that barley up to the mill for our contract. So that'll be pretty good. Make some money off of that. So I'm kind of excited about that. We're sitting pretty good there. But other than that, on the farm, the tobacco harvest is continued. We're going to do the hops tomorrow. And then uh, we'll wait for the other stuff to be harvested. The Jambone factory is still doing okay. We can't do anything with uh, Jack Daniels or the mill until we get this stuff figured out. So, let's see. Do I have this thing? Yeah, I do. Let's, let's fire this puppy up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not a bad deal for Zeke. Now, um, I want to make sure I'm putting down a straw swath because we're going to bail this up for our, um, our bales, our cows and our piggies. Are we doing it? Yeah, I think we are doing it. We're doing it, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah. We got we got Strasbourg going down there. Go on. A little bit crooked. A little bit of a crooked Strasbourg, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that. It's not a big header. It's gonna take me. Gosh, I'm gonna be here till Christmas time doing this uh, field. But I'm getting something done. The yield should be pretty darn good on it. Let's see. What are we sitting at? Oh yeah. So you're 10 percent. Oh yeah. We're we're gonna do pretty good. Now, granted, this is not a big machine. This is not a. Um, huge header on here but it's something it uh you know make the time go by and i you know i, I was just kind of sitting around doing nothing anyway with my thumbs so i figured i might as well go out and get the uh the barley done and we'll get that uh, underway so once i get a uh a load of barley into the uh, truck over there see 202 bushels an acre that's not bad 
That's not bad. I, I can live with that. I don't need to do a headland. We have all this huge grass area here on both ends. So I don't... Oh, I probably should let the Swathswath uh, finish uh, there. I probably just put a bunch of straw on my grass, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Next. You live and learn. Next time. Yep. Put that hydrostatic turbo in forward there. So we'll get that done. We'll get this figured out, and we'll kind of go from there. But for the meantime, I think we'll, I think, I think we'll end there. Sophie is going to finish that third field. We're not going to have a full trailer load yet anyways. So I, I want to wait until we get a full trailer load to take that down to Sophie's this and that and see what the tobacco gives us. By that time, I'll probably have this field done here, and we get a trailer load or a truck load, and we get that up to the flour mill and um, go from there. But anyways... With that said, I want to seriously thank you for joining me today. I sincerely appreciate that. I, I think it might be on the shorter side, but I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my farmer friends. Um, hope you uh, happened to check out Hazard County live stream. We did that. Yeah, back back to farming. I, I miss farming. Back to farming. Everybody is feeling better. Uh, life is good. It's wintertime. It's butt cold outside. 22 below yesterday. Holy crap. But we're doing good. And um, I thank you for sticking around. I thank you for pre I sincerely appreciate that. Sorry it's been a while, but sometimes you just have to, uh, sometimes you just have to step away for a bit to re, I don't know what's the word I'm thinking of, reappreciate the farming aspect. Oh, crap, I almost hit a tree with the combine. That was, this is a lease vehicle, too, so that would, Zeke would have probably had my head on a platter. That would not have, look at the straw swaths on this combine, Zeke. Look at this. I mean, I'm practically blowing the straw into my next pass here, man. This ain't good. This is not right, but... <laughs> it's, it's fun nonetheless. So we got all kinds of stuff going on. So we'll continue with this. I'll get a truckload of barley, like I said in that. We'll get a truckload of um, tobacco, and next time we'll see what we make on it and get those things figured out. But anyways, have a great day. Have a great week. Cheers, all my friends, and we will see you later. But of all, but of all, keep them between the ditches. So long.